Nick speaking and welcome to this video. Uh, right, I have finished building my witches. Uh, so this is part and parcel of the £25 um, army challenge that uh, Tabletop Banter is doing. I'll put a link to that uh, video in the description below if you do go and check out. Um, now I also got these guys from Martin McNeil from War Games. Um, so I should put a link to War Games um, in the description below as well. I'll put a link to their Facebook page. Go and check them out. Awesome, awesome place to buy your models. Uh, so really great discounts. Um, so yeah, Martin uh, donated uh, these um, models to the cause. They were all on sprues. He also donated another set of 10 witches. So I've got 30 witches in total, which is pretty awesome. I had a lot of fun building these. Um, I first of all just obviously took them off the sprues. I had no instructions with them, but not too much of an issue with these, especially when you have a great friend like Darby Conway from um, Fire Bre Breathing Duck. I think that's his new channel name. Um, yeah, um, thank you Darby once again for helping with some of the weapon options etc. I'll put a link to Darby's channel in the description as well for you guys to go and check out. Um, so I built them up. Um, I made sure that I had all the different bits and pieces on all the different models just to, to make sure that each model was uh, individual and uh, also did that obviously with all the poses as well. So I tried to make the, the unit as or the units because I've got 20 here so I've gone for two units of 10. Try to make them as dynamic as I could. Now, the one thing to one thing to note uh, with these models, um, I'm not going to show you each individual one, but I'm going to show you a, a few of them. So, one thing to note is the weapon upgrades. Uh, so, for um, every ten models, you can have up to three different upgrades, um, but they only supply uh, one of each upgrade. Now, the upgrades that I'm potentially interested in is the razor. Razor weapons um, and then the Hydra weapons. I'm um, not really too bothered about the, the last one. I think it's called the sh uh, Shard, I think it's called. Uh, so those are the two weapon choices that I thought I'd be interested in. Um, but as I said, there wasn't, um, there's only one of each. So what I've decided to do, as this is A, just a fun army, B, I'm obviously doing it on a budget, um, and C, I don't want to, you know, I want to start looking for bits, is I've decided to make do my own thing with these. So um, I've done the three upgrades. Um, I've done one model with uh, the razors, one with the hydras, and I've done another model, my own conversion. And then I'm going to basically say, well, if I want to play, say, all razors, then I can, like, proxy all of those as razors. If I want to do all hydras, then I can do everything with hydras. So that was the plan. Um, I think it will work. I said it's not really going to be an issue. I'm not going to be in a tournament with these guys anyway. And even if I am, I think I probably would guess away with it. Maybe. I'm not sure. But anyway, let's have a closer look. So, first of all, we have this one here. Um, and he has the Hydra uh, gauntlets. If I can get it to focus. Let's zoom in a bit. Right. There you go. Pretty cool weapons. So that's that one. And then the next ones are the Razor Flayers, flayers I think they're called. Razor Swords. Two massive swords. Bit of uh, stuff there. I haven't cleaned it up properly. Sort that out. Um, and that looks pretty cool. How about that? So that's those. And then the third one was the one that I made up myself, which were these. So in the kit, you got um, some like chain arms. Um, you get two of these, and then the other one, if I can find it. There we go. You get two of these ones here. Now, of course, they're all left hand. Uh, model, so I had to convert them up to what my idea was to have two of these chains in each, you know, one in each hand, and then they can stand in as a special weapon. So um, what I did is I found a hand with the th the gun on with the thumb that wasn't actually because some of the the thumbs are like if I can get my zoom out, some of the thumbs were like in this upper position. So I made sure I found a gun where the thumb was down here, so I could literally just cut the top of the gun off. Uh, so I did that, and then I sliced off the chain, 
um, just at the top of the hand there, made sure it's a nice big flat area, as big as I could get it. And then I plastic glued that on. Um, and then that was just part of the other chain. Now the reason why I didn't cut the whole chain off and put it into the arm was because um, this particular arm um, was like a bare skin section and I thought it would look a bit odd so I thought we'll just have the chain just like dangling down. So that was that one, it's just like swinging that over and then on the other one which is here uh, same idea really, basically I used the um, gun arm, cut the, the gun off, cut the chain off of this arm, stuck that onto the hand and then used the bottom of the chain just uh, on that section there and uh, I think I'm out really well, I think it looks really cool and I think it's definitely going to work as um, one of the specialist weapons, either one, whichever one I, I'm going to arm them up to. Um, other things that I did I did put one of the little, I think it's the Agonizer Whip on um, one model um, just in case I do play a sergeant then I can use that as the sergeant um, whatever it's called, I know it's not called a sergeant but um, I'm getting for new, you know I'm new to our Dark Eldar so I'm getting used to the names, I think it's called a Hex something but anyway, um, I'm not 100% sure I'm going to use this like uh, Hex Girl <laughs> um, but I think it will work as just a normal model anyway because it, it's like a close combat weapon so you know I've just got to basically put them in there with, where's the other one with the whips and then it would either well, count as the sergeant upgrade or it will just count as a normal model I think it will work fine so that's that one there and I'll just show you just a couple of the other poses that I've got going on so you can see them if I can get it to focus there you go So there you are, they are all done. Um, I'm going to take some still pictures I think um, and do a little uh, slideshow at the end of all the different models so you can see them all in, in their action poses. Right, that's it from me. Thanks for watching as always. Uh, next up I need to work on those two raiders um, which obviously I need to strip and restore them. I've had a request to do a how-to video on that so I'm, I'm in the process um, of making one of those as well. So uh, lots more to come. Thanks for watching.